this payment platform now please explain to me what this is because you already have an app you already offer all your services digitally so what is this payment payment platform going to be i know you said you're intending to launch it in october right mm -hmm. what is it going to be why is it going to change the way bajaj finance is perceived the way you do business this is the big reset you were talking about during covid right this is only one part of it the reset is that the entire way that bajaj finance does business has become uh, more and more digital to do that a lot of our processes had to be rewritten uh, yeah. to align them for the digital world secondly a lot of the technology platforms that we were using tools that we were using apis that we were using had to be rewired uh, to work in to work much faster to work more intuitively towards the customer the look and feel of that had to be upgraded and that period of reset gave us a chance for uh, to doing all that but that's Currently, all back end stuff over that's the last, all back end over the last yeah. two years yeah. yeah but a lot of it is being rolled out right now on the payment side we've been working with some external partners um, so for example our uh, digital wallet is with moviquick mm. and uh, we are, we last year got approval from rbi for our own prepaid uh, with our own prepaid license mm. and we've launched our own wallet now um, the integration of a digital credit card with a digital store card with the wallet and um, other digital payment uh, options for example upi we know is clearly one working with our own merchant network um where we can then offer not only products to the end consumers but also to the merchants okay. needs this platform which you can control yourself because then you, it gives you the flexibility to build out the products and services in the manner that you feel is appropriate and that's been a big differentiator for us at bajaj finance over the past decade is not just the products that we sell but how we sell it how we use data uh, the fact that we can do 100000 loans a day virtually in 30, with 30 second approvals the fact that we are doing all this and we are still reporting uh, net loss numbers of 50 to 60 basis points post covid all this goes to show the power and capability of being able to control that information mm. and not only customer access but customer experience and because end of the day we are selling a loan or we are selling an insurance policy yeah. it is as basic and commoditized as that hence the experience the intuitiveness the look and feel to the customer on the app or on the web the ease with which they can get that support whether it's a product or a service is how customers choose and and that uh, and having our own payment platform will give us that much more control because payments is something that a customer does every day loan is something that he takes once or twice a year and insurance policy even uh, um, less of so what will set you apart in payments from let's say any other payment service provider that your customers may be currently using these habits are difficult to break yep. which is why i'm asking so as you know as i mentioned with our digital store card we have almost 20 million customers already on one of our apps yeah. so we have customers using us for multiple um, financial products even today by getting our own payment app it allows them to directly interact with us that much more okay. and um, and it's a question of what kind of a rewards uh, program would you have in place to attract the new ones to come to you shift from someone else uh, so yes there will be an initial cost to doing that for new customers Exist existing customers uh, already are on multiple platforms with us we will integrate them into this new one so you are your uh, operating expenditure has been sort of somewhat enhanced over the mm. last couple of quarters Correct. and i think your guidance has been that you continue to invest in your businesses including this particular platform yes. we will see this go on for the next few quarters at least yes i think the next couple of quarters at least we should see this before we start seeing the volumes coming out uh, from them and how do we know whether this app i mean do you have you put in metrics in place for us to be able to judge as investors uh, whether this app or this payment platform is successful not successful because broadly it is about being able to use data to cross sell and to attract right so how do we find out so bajaj, that this is actually adding to your business in in a significant way fair point bajaj finance today runs its performance on between 2 and 2 and a half thousand parameters <laughs> there'll probably be another 25 that will get added okay all right fine <laughs> okay i i have two and a half thousand parameters is it yes. 37 uh, lines of business and then operations and hr rewards programs debt management okay. analytics risk all right no 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 you don't have to list all of them <laughs> i get it